Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today we are doing our Google Home Mini unboxing. I was very fortunate actually for this to happen because for those of you who didn't see, I actually won this. I didn't um, get it from Google or anything along those lines. I actually was in a line um, and we have that video I'll put in the description. And when I opened it up, I either was going to get a donut or I was going to get a Google Home Mini. My wife got two donuts, I got a Google Home Mini. Not a bad trade. So, that being said, it is the Google Home Mini, something we've been waiting for, something that has definitely gotten a lot of people's interest because of its price point and its usefulness. Basically, with Google Home, you can control a lot of things in your house. They have a lot of different partners, and you can connect to a lot of different things, all without ever needing your smartphone. So, really great for a lot of great features just to have a small speaker in a room, and we're gonna test out the sound quality as well and just being able to have it all the way around uh, when it comes to controlling your smart home at a later date possibly, or just asking some questions that you like, hey, what's this, what's this? And you have the power of Google with your voice. So really great, nice and simple. And so now we got that open. Now we have this little seal right here. And here we go. Now I do have another one of these on the way. Uh, so we will be giving one of these away. I'm not sure if it's going to be for the month of October or November. I feel like it's gonna be November because we already have some good ones for October. So for the month of November, we'll probably be giving away another Google Home. Uh, and let me know what color you would like to have the most popular. This is the gray, there's also the black and then there's the coral. Let me know which one I should get for our giveaway one in the comment section down below. So you have a grip right here on the side, you have a micro USB plug-in, and you have a mic off, mic on feature to quickly turn it off or on. Uh, pause and play, hold it down to talk to Google if you just don't wanna use your voice, which I don't know why you wouldn't wanna just use your voice. And then skip and uh, skip to go basically uh, forward or back on your music. And this can uh, tune into things like Spotify, uh, of course, Google Music and YouTube Music. You have lots of different options on that sense. So we're gonna get started. And a really nice long cable. We always like to see longer cables and really nice quality actually too. The uh, rope is really nice. And I think that's it out of this box. Let's see. Yes, that's it out of this box. So there we have our Google Home Mini. And let's go ahead and plug it in and then we'll set it up. Now to set it up, you are most likely going to need the Google Home app, which that one looks like this right here. So you're gonna need uh, this Google Home app to most likely set it up, connect to your Wi-Fi, and that's what we'll do in a few seconds. All right, guys, so we plugged it in. It told us to uh, download the Google Home app, which I already have, and I have existing Google Home already in my house. I have three, actually, to say, so. That's the volume. That is pretty sensitive, so you might want to grab it by here, just so you always know, so you're not accidentally touching the volume. Uh, but so you have one device found right here, so you're gonna to want to set that up. If not, you could probably hit it here and then set up a new one, so yeah. Uh, as you can see, I have one in the living room, office, and uh, the bedroom, and I label them like that, and you can label it however you want. So we'll set this one up. Google Home Mini found, next. And the best part about it is uh, typically, if I remember correctly, you don't have to enter in your Wi-Fi password because it's just gonna get it from your phone. Uh, I believe the first time maybe I did have to, is it was a long time since ago since I got the first one. Did you hear the sound? Yes. And now you can put it in what room it's gonna be in. Um, I do not know where I will put this yet. Uh, so let's go for the kitchen on the meantime, because we don't have one there. 
And then it's going to connect to my Wi-Fi. Maybe I do have to enter the password. Use save password. So yeah, so I don't have to enter it in. It's just going to get it from my phone. It's going to be like, hey, phone, you're really cool. I know you know this password. Why don't you share it with me? And your phone's going to be like, okay. And I really have to, you really have to watch out the sides. Uh, I'm definitely noticed that right away. And then set up your Google Assistant so you can take a look at all the Google partners and everything like that. And teach it how to recognize your voice. So you're going to want to make it recognize your voice uh, first, and then you can add other people to it so they can uh, make it recognize their voice. That way Google will actually know if you're asking to talk to it or if someone else is. This is really good because you can personalize your calendar. So if you ask for the calendar, it'll give you your calendar. Or if you say, um, call my mom, you know, it'll call your mom. If they say call their mom, it'll call their mom. So it knows how to do all this. So it's really awesome when it comes to that. And so now I'm gonna say, okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. And there you go. Surprise, my other Google Home didn't go off behind me. And I'm sorry for anyone that I did uh, set off your Google Home or phone. All right, and so this is a typical process. Uh, once it's set up from here, then you should be set up. If you have a Chromecast, you can actually control a lot of it uh via the google home there are lots of different uh applications for it we're going to do a new best uh five new features of the google home mini so subscribe uh to watch that video and we already have a comparison uh from last year comparing to uh the alexa so we're going to compare it to the new echoes and the best part about it is we're really going to see what are the best features uh, that we had from last year? I think last year we did a five best features and five hidden features in the Google Home. So this time we're gonna update that with Google Home Mini. All right guys, hopefully you did like this video. So always know with this one, the lights are a little bit harder to see right when uh, it's gray. I think that's why the black one might be my favorite one, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, when you first get this, uh, it is going to ask you for your address so that it can get your weather, so it can get your location and everything. So you can put in your address first, then it's going to ask you what music services do you have. So these are the top four that it immediately it asks you about. So just know right there. And uh, I'm going to use my Google Play Music. That's the one I use most. But if you have Pandora, Spotify, or anything like that, you have the ability to. Almost done. So you can add a payment method if you ever want to order food or order a ride or anything like that. And you can make a default speaker uh, for music playback. So these are the different options you have overall with that. All right, guys. Hopefully you did like this video now that it's all set. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. That is loud. I was not expecting it to be that loud. All right, guys, now this is a little put together, but I thought I'd add a first impressions along with the setup. And this is actually pretty loud. Like it really surprised me with how loud uh, this speaker was. So yeah, color me impressed. Uh, I'm gonna play the song. First, let me turn it down a little bit just to give an idea. Now it only has four levels here, but of course if you control it from your phone, you can uh, get a more accurate representation of the level, so just know that. Uh, but let me just play this, so this is not nice little volume. what it takes, baby, you know you're better than all of them. You're my number one girl, you got everything I need. I know we're meant to be, so let's go fulfill prophecy. Come on. I'll be your hero, baby, if you let me. I promise I will be there for you in your time of need. In your darkest hour, on your brightest day. So that really surprised me, because I was not expecting this to be that loud. I was expecting like the Echo Dot, which was not at all loud by any means. So I just wanted to finish that up. Uh, sorry for the editing for it because I thought it was just going to be, you know, one simple video. But really with this, I, I just had to split it up 
um, to have the whole thing, the setup, the impressions, all of it. But so far, I will say that that hey, I, I like the controls so far on it. Very sensitive, I still feel on that side. So when you remember when you grab it, grab it like this. You want to grab it by the top and the bottom. So you can always just remember where the plug is, and that way you're always going to be able to remember where to grab it from. But really like how loud it is. I'm very impressed by that. This is way good for something like a kitchen or even a small room. Uh, you could definitely fill out like this would be perfect for like a kid's room, I would say. Uh, really good for that. So yeah, just wanted to give my first impressions of the speaker. Uh, now with that being said, thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.